Hey folks, welcome to Programming for Musicians. In this video, we are going to cover uh, setting up the nine projects that you're gonna work on in this course. And um, I'm also going to cover uh, how to let me know in the Slack workspace that you have set them up, that you have invited me to collaborate on them, as well as invited me to collaborate on the Replit, so that way I can set them all up with the, uh, uh, with the uh, project parts, so you can get started working on those. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is open that week one email um, for the full course, and you're gonna open these guys, and you're going to either fork them or import them. So for the first one, I'm going to fork it because that's what it says in the instructions here. And then in the second project, I'm going to clone, it, um, not clone, I'm going to import so you can see what I mean um, when I import. Okay, so let me just open these all in a new tab. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There we go, got them all open. So I'm gonna go to the first one. As I said, I'm gonna fork this one. So we'll click that fork button. All right, wait for it to refresh. All right, now I've got a copy of this in my own uh, project repository. Let me do this one. I'm gonna copy this link or I'm gonna copy this clone link right here for the second project, because this one I'm going to import. So I'm gonna click this import repository. Here's the URL. I'm gonna give it the same name, PFM CPP project two, like that, and I'm gonna import it. So we'll just wait for this to uh, finish uh, being imported. There it goes, importing complete. All right, so the main difference between if you do that is this one says it's been forked from here. And then if you just import it, it's not going to show that at all. Now, this is gonna be an important change when it's time to make the pull requests, okay? So we'll deal with that in a little bit. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other seven projects and then I will uh, check in once I've completed that step. Finished um, either forking or importing all of these. And if I go to my repositories here and refresh this, you'll see all uh, one through nine right here. So here we go, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, uh, one like that. And there's project two up there. This one was not forked, so it's gonna show up slightly differently. Okay, the next thing to do is you're gonna go to each repository, you're gonna go to settings, and you're gonna add Matt Cat Music as a contributor. So you're gonna go over here, you're gonna go to contributors, or collaborators right here, uh, provide your password if needed. All right, and now you're gonna add Matt Cat Music right there as a collaborator, okay? And then um, you're gonna do this for all of them, for all nine projects, okay? So go ahead and close that. Go ahead and do that, do that for the rest of these. All right, so we have finished, um, we have finished adding me as a collaborator to all nine projects. The next thing you're going to do is uh, send me invite links to all of these, okay? So the way to do this is just go to the repository itself. Uh, let's see, that's over here. Just grab this repository, copy it, go to the Slack workspace over here. You're gonna find me, you're gonna send me a direct message and you're gonna do this for every single one. You're gonna go like this and you're gonna add invitations at the end, okay? You're gonna do this for all of them. So just copy this, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, and you're just gonna edit them all. One, two, three, four, whoop, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like that. Okay, you're gonna send this to me. Here are the invites, like that. Send, okay? I'm gonna get the invite to all of these, and I'm going to accept them all. All right, let's go back over here. So once you've done that, once you've invited me to all nine, you're gonna import each one of these, you're gonna import each one of these into Replit. Okay, now something that is super important for you to do is to make sure that your GitHub username right here is the same as your Slack username is the same as your Replit username, okay? This is just gonna help me keep you and your Replit and your Slack all coordinated so when you send me tasks and whatnot and when I'm looking at your repository, I know who it is, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go over to, go over to Replit, you're gonna do a login, 
Okay. And you're going to click on this button right here, this one in the middle, not the G, not the F, this one right here. This is going to log you in with your GitHub credentials. You'll see once you're logged in, it's going to set your username if you go to profile. It's going to set your username to the same thing that your, uh, your GitHub account is set to. All right, super easy. Couldn't be easier than that. All right. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to import your repos. Okay. All of them are all going to show up here. All right. So you're just going to do this import repo. It's going to make one of them. All right. We don't need to worry about that. Okay. Just let it finish doing its thing. It's going to clone it. You're going to see some text over here. This is the same thing you saw when you cloned juice, except it's going to be for your own, um, uh, it's going to be for um, your own repository from GitHub, which you can see right here. Okay. The next thing to do is to invite me to this. All right. So you're going to go here, invite friends to multiplayer. Okay. You're going to search for a username. So you're going to search for Matt Cat Music again, like that. And you're going to add. All right. And you're going to do this for all nine. Okay. So I will come back in just a minute after I have completed doing that. I finished um, inviting myself, inviting Matt Cat Music to this replet. So if I go under my REPLs right here, I'm going to see all of them right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All of the replets, okay? So the next thing to do, we're going to go to this. Um, you can just right click on this link, copy the link address. You're going to go to the Slack workspace. You're going to go here and go, here are the replets, like that. And you're just going to add them all. Is that nine? Let's see, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, perfect. All right, you're gonna send those off. Okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is join all of these, and then I'm going to supply the task. So at this point, you can just say, you can just chill out and wait for me to add, to join your repositories and um, join your replets, okay? Now again, it's super important to make sure that your Slack username and your GitHub username match. And then when you create your replet, it's gonna pull the username from GitHub. So that's also gonna match there, okay? That's just gonna help me. It's gonna make my life so much easier. All right, so with that said, I'm going to uh, get ready for the next video, which is gonna show how to make all of them. Um, it's going to take you through the process of going through one of these projects so you can get a vibe for the workflow. All right, I'll see you in that video in just a moment.